back. Who are these people to say that they should be taking it away from us? Everything that the Republicans and the Democrats are doing in the United States is diametrically opposed to everything that this country was founded upon. Who are these people that are telling us how our Constitution should be interpreted? But how does one fix that? I mean, with such a scope and such unprecedented information coming out that all of this is going on, how do people move forward? It's very simple. Everybody's upset, but w w and? It's very simple. You're seeing it in country after country. To me, the model that exists, that everyone, all they have to look at to see if you want to see something work, you look at the fall of the Berlin Wall. The people didn't leave. They went out and they never left. I have a slogan, by the way. Stay home, don't vote. Why would I want to vote for one of the corrupt parties for? No, we're getting all excited about the upcoming elections. Will it be Hillary Clinton or will it be Christie? Will it be Biden? Will it be Ryan? Will it be Larry Moa Curley? Will it be Abbott or Costello? What self-respecting person could look up to these people? And there are a lot of people that are ready for a change to happen. And I believe it's starting to happen. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And there are a lot of young people out there holding university degrees that they owe 70, 80, 90, 100,000 dollars for, and they can't get jobs. And they're not stupid. They're watching it unfold in front of them, and they're angry. And they have the vitality. And they're also the people like myself that have been around. And we know the score was making this stuff up. Well, what happens to those people? What happens to the college, college graduates? What happens to the working Americans? You say 2014, it's not going to be any better. They are continuing to be forgotten, left to themselves. I mean, so it's how is this? It's is what I call it. Look at the jobs. Again, I'm not making it up. According to the data, over 90% of the jobs created in the United States in 2013 were part-time jobs. It's right. more of the same, but worse. Everything we've, we've been seeing coming out of the United States, do you think, um, what's happening to its position in the world? Where is it headed? I believe that every nation's problems can be solved if every nation minds its own business and stays home. Again, going back to the foundation upon which this nation was founded upon. Every one of the founding fathers was totally opposed to being involved in foreign entanglements. Who are these people that put it in their head that they're going to start fixing the world and becoming involved in everybody else's business? I got one for you. Could you fix Detroit? No, after you do that, then move over to the South Bronx. Hey, Camden is beautiful. Let's have a picnic over. A lovely day in Trenton, and East St. Louis is just glorious, and Oakland at night is just a wonder to be out in. Who made this up? We have all the resources that we need in this country to be the great country that we used to be. Gerald, uh, in your uh, forecast for the next year, uh, you also talk about the wake-up call for politicians. So who is going to be that person or that entity or that voice that brings about the change? Oh, this is really radical and dramatic. Direct democracy, like they have over in Switzerland. You want to go to war? Let the people vote. You want your money going to foreign countries? Let the people vote. Do you want to bail out banks or financial institutions? Let the people vote. It's direct democracy. And then these people say the first reaction, why, we'd have mob rule. Right. Yeah. What do you think you got now? You want to talk about a mob? We have a gang of 535 senators and congressmen telling 315 million people how to tie their shoes. Would direct democracy work? Anything's better.